This is the first in a series of tutorials designed to teach you the basic functions of 2D design. 2D design is a two-dimensional CAD package which allows even the most novice of users to create sophisticated drawings on a computer. In industry and schools it's used to control complex computer-aided manufacturing machines, machines such as laser cutters, milling machines and center lathes. So now I've opened 2D design, let's start the first tutorial. The first screen you'll see is this one. We don't really need to worry about this box in the middle at the moment, so uh, you can just click anywhere else on the screen and that'll get rid of it. The first thing we want to do is change the size of the page we're working on. So we can go to Setup, Drawing and Layout. And that will bring this dialog box up. So at the moment you can see it's set for A3. We want to just change that to A4 so when we print it out it will fit on our page. We can then click OK and we're ready to start. So as you can see all the tools are on the left hand side here and a lot of them if you hold your left mouse down more tools will appear and there's an explanation of what each tool does just above. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use basic lines and shapes to draw a name. So I'm going to start, I'm going to go for the name Josh, so I'm going to start with a J, and what I'm going to do, just for the J, I'm going to use straight lines, I'm going to show you that if you make sure they cross over each time, like this, we can actually cut them out later on. So I'm going to go down here for the J. And then obviously I need a curve. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tool here. And this is called the path tool. And again I'm going to make sure I'm going to cross over the lines I've already drawn. And as I start to click around the, the, the line will curve and follow the path that I'm creating. I can right click to end the line and then draw the inside line as well. But this time I'm going to use a tool that's on the right hand side here and it's called Attach. And if we select that first, then wherever we are closest to when we start to draw the line, it will attach to the closest edge. And again I can draw it round and right click to finish. And then turn Attach off. Back to my straight line, just to finish the J off. Make sure it's crossing over. There we go. So now we need to delete the lines. So if you hold your left mouse down over the delete button, we can select the second tool along, which is delete part of an object between the two nearest intersections. So I'm going to zoom it in a little bit first. The zoom button's here on the right hand side, in and out on that side there. And then I can just start to select the protruding lines. And they'll just be deleted. But it's important that you take your time doing this because you can only go back once. So if you delete the wrong line and then delete another line after it, you'll only be able to go back to the last line that you deleted. Okay, so there's the J done. Now time for the O. So if I left click and hold on the shapes tool, I can move along and I can select draw an elliptical bezier to fit inside a rectangle. Okay, so this is going to be the large part of the O and it's going to be an ellipse. I didn't want to make it a perfect circle. I thought it would look a little bit better as an egg shape. And then draw the inside as well. I think, oops, that looks nice. And here's where I can use a select tool. So selects up here, the black arrow, I can select that, click on the ellipse, and then I can use the square in the center to move it to where I'd like it to go. So to do the S, I always like to start by drawing the the ends of the S first so I know where I'm starting and finishing. Let's just use the line to do that. I'm going to use the attach tool again and I'm going to use the path tool as well to draw the curved edges of the S like this. So 
remember if you do get it wrong you can always right click to end the line and then go back and we'll right click to end the line just there sorry I forgot to mention that if you want to go back the easiest way is just to hold control and Z but remember you can only go back once so I'm going to speed this up a little bit now just so we can get through this last part so I'll finish the H in pretty much the same way using the line and path tool like this and I've also used the attach tool to make sure there's no gaps so I can fill the H later so now I'm going to show you a little technique to make life easier for you what we can do rather than all these lines and curves being separate designs if you select the whole letter we can then group it together so here we go I'll do it on the O so at the moment if I select the O just on its own you can either select the inside or the outside line but if I use a select tool to select the whole of the O by dragging a square around it I can then go to edit and group and this will make the O one single object so I can click either line and it will select the whole letter so I'll do that quickly with the S and the H and this obviously just makes life easier when you try to move around the letters or whatever objects you've drawn so now I'm just going to quickly move the letters around to where I want I think I'm going to make them overlap like this and then I can use the delete line segment tool again to delete some of the lines so they don't look like they're all transparent and we'll just speed this last section up and move on to the last part of this tutorial which is using the fill tool to add some colour so this is the fill tool here on the left hand side and when we click on it we get this dialog box up and as you can see at the moment the fill colours are in blue so I think we'll stick with that and we can just click OK so we're going to start with the O and we're going to actually click on the inside near to the outside line of the O and it's going to ask us if we want any islands and for this we're going to click yes because there is an island that we don't want to fill in the middle in this small circle so again we can click the small circle and are there any more islands well no there's not on this one so we can just click no and there you go it will fill the O with blue so we want to choose a different colour now for the other letters so if we double click the fill tool you'll get this dialog box again but this time we can select colour and we will get an option to choose any colour we want really so I'm going to choose red click OK and then I'm going to do the S so I select the S again it's going to ask if there's any islands this time there are no islands so I click no and it will fill it so I'll just finish these last two letters now when you are filling anything 2D design will fill any shape as long as it's a solid shape you need to make sure there's no gaps um, even if it's the most minute gap that you can't see unless you zoom in um, you're going to have to make sure that there are no gaps in your shape and the easiest way to do this is either to use the attach tool or purposefully overlap all your edges and then use the delete line segment tool to get rid of them later this is the end of the first tutorial explaining how to use the basic tools within 2D design now go and give it a go yourself have a go at drawing your own name using only the tools that we've shown you in this tutorial